Uh, hello subscribers and new visitors. My name is Steve. Welcome to my educational channel. Uh, here in this video, we will know how to develop contours manually when you have got your grid points or reduce level points. Okay, let's get started with the drafting the survey points. Start with marking the side dimension. Then divide the length to obtain 9 equal squares. This will give you a grid of 1 by 1 meter all over the site. Mark the horizontal and the vertical lines in alpha values as A, B, C, D, and so on. Now, write down all the reduced level which you got from the survey at their respective locations in the plan. As you can see in the diagram above you. After we have done, we will create our own contour intervals which are suitable for working while designing on site. To do so, we first pick the lowest and the highest point on the site. So here uh, in our diagram, we have uh, the lowest uh, reduced level as one thousand two hundred and thirty one point five one seven and the highest reduced level on the diagram found at R will be one thousand two hundred and thirty seven point two one meters. Now I'm taking the contour interval of one meter as per the question. That means six contour lines in the plan showing 1232, 1233, 1234, 1235, and 1236 meter interval, or also 1237 meter contour. Now, when our contour intervals are decided, then it's time to plot them on our site. So let's get started with the 1232 meter contour line first. We will start by checking all grids, starting from the lowest point, and we'll see on which grid or line our 1232 meter contour line will fall. On our first grid, at the top left corner, we can see the highest point at A is lower, and that at B is lower too. So clearly, nowhere between these two, our 1232 contour will fall. Now, on the line AE, EF, BF, EJ, JK, FK, JN, NP, and KP, no 1232 meter contour is coming, as you can see in the diagrams. So, there all our reduced levels are lower than what we need to calculate so we need to calculate 1232 meter contour but there they are all below now on the line bc the highest point is 1231 so that is the lowest point so the lowest point is 1231.922 and the highest is 1232.589 so it means there is a 1232 meter contour which can be calculated from that position also on the line fg kl pq we will also get a 1232 meter contour and by the look of things so the difference there so as long as the 1232 meter contour lies between those points we can calculate the lines and our next and most important task will be to find the exact location on those lines of the points through which the 1232 meter contour will pass 
let's start with the line bc in which b has a lower value of 1231.922 and c has a higher value of 1232.589 so we'll subtract b from c and we'll get the height difference between those points b and c in other words we interpolate or we do interpolation along bc so the height difference between b and c will be 0 0.66 so 0.667 a meter in a distance of 50 meter so that is the 50 meter the distance between those two reduced levels the difference of levels between the lowest reduced level that is b and our 1232 meter contour point will be so we subtract so that is 1232 minus 1231.922 getting 0 0.078 again the distance of the 1232 meter contour from b will be so the distance will be so here we go again so that will be 0 0.078 over 0 0.667 that we had gotten earlier times 15 uh, meters that is the distance so the distance will be 5.847 meters so that is that will be the distance of the contour from b so later we are going to come and locate that point having finished that let's move on to line f g in which f has a lower value of 1231.868 and g has a higher value of 1232.967 we interpolate the difference in the elevation between f and g in a distance of 50 meter will be 1232.967 minus 1231.868 giving us 1.009 so that will be 9 so that will be 1.099 meters the difference in level between the highest reduced level f and our contour which is 1232 meter point is so we'll be taking the 1232 minus 1231.868 so that is our lowest point giving us 0 0.1322 then the distance of the 1232 meter contour from f will be so that is the distance where our contour will line will be in line so it will fall there that will be 0 0.1 32 gotten uh, previously over 1.099 times 50 giving us an answer of 6.005 meter so that will be the distance uh, from the um, f so from the lowest reduced level where our contour will fall uh, having done that we follow the same process as before to work out all the points under the 1232 meter contour so we'll we are going to do uh the same so we are going to do for all those points uh that falls under the 1232 meter contour let's mark the point in the same manner from the first point having located all the points it is time to join those points and get the 1232 meter contour line on the plan so i've gone and demonstrated it in the uh, screen above so you can see how i did the curves doing those points by a free hand by giving them a smooth curve after completing the curve write the contour level above the line to ease the identification of the contour levels Having finished that, let's go on to our next 
Now we'll start by marking 1233 meter contour will fall. Now in line DH, GH, LM, QR, the 1233 meter contour are falling and the remaining uh, the reduced level are either more or less than 1233. An example CD falls short and also CG GL LQ. Let's locate the points on the 1233 meter contour from what we identified. Let's start with line DH in which D has a lower value of 1232.295. And H has a higher value of 1234.855. Now we look now we interpolate to find the difference in elevation between D and H. So the higher value will be 1234.855 meters. So that is the reduced level found at H. Now we interpolate to find the difference of elevation between D and H in a distance of 50 meters and that will be 1234.855 uh, minus 1232.295 giving us 2.56 meters. So that is will be the difference in our reduced level so that will be the uh, distance between those two the difference of levels between the lowest point of the reduced level d and 1233 meter contour point will be 1233 point so that that will be 1233.0 minus 1232.295 giving us 0 0.705 meters then the distance of the 1233 meter contour from D will be 0 0.705 over 2.56 times 50 giving us 13.7695 meters so we'll round off there after we do the same to the other points where our 1233 meter contour lines we will get all of our answer as illustrated uh, in the screen above now in the same manner we will make the other contour lines of 1234 1235 1236 meters contour so having done that, we are going to do the same to the all other points. So after which, by use of scale, we'll plot the contours and we'll have finished our illustrations. So all of that, I've done it in the screen uh, and you can revise. So a PDF of this slide will be provided in the link below and if anyone has a question you are free uh, to ask me in the email or you can ask me directly on the comments below. Thank you. That will be all.